Welcome to the 2018-2019 Code of Conduct Scenarios Guide. In this presentation, we will go over some hypothetical scenarios that may arise at your site and what the recommended response is for each scenario. So let's begin. Scenario 1. Right before the third period bell, Ms. Brown stood in the doorway to keep students from leaving early. Sam told Ms. Brown to move so he could leave. She would not move, so Sam slid past her. She grabbed the straps of Sam's backpack to keep him in the room. Sam slipped out of his backpack and, as he was maneuvering, Ms. Brown lost her footing and fell, causing a broken ankle. The proper response should be, there should be no violation for Sam. Teachers should not use their bodies as barricades, nor should they grab students by backpacks, clothing, or body parts. Scenario number two. Charlotte is an exceptional ed student who was found in possession of marijuana. At the long-term suspension hearing, you discover that a manifestation determination was not held for Charlotte. What do you do? Here is the proper response. The hearing officer may proceed with the hearing and hold the decision until the manifestation determination has been completed. You also may reschedule, but our preference is to proceed. An abeyance is always a choice, but make sure it is the best option and not chosen out of frustration. Scenario 3. Angela and Brenna both admitted to pulling each other's hair earlier in the day. Neither student notified a staff member of this issue. Neither girl had had a prior fight. Later, they fight each other after school. They both admit to pushing and hitting each other in the front of the school. No one is seriously injured. This is an example of a situation that was ongoing and escalating. Neither student went to a staff member for intervention. The situation worsened, resulting in a fight. The code mandates that the response to a first fight is a three-day out-of-school suspension, with two days waived if the student agrees to a mediation. Scenario 4. Broadway High School has a serious alcohol problem. Last Tuesday, two boys, Ben and Chuck, were caught sharing a bottle of whiskey on the basketball court after school. You investigate and find that Ben brought the whiskey and shared it with Chuck, who willingly accepted. Neither student had possessed or shared alcohol at any point this year. What are the appropriate steps, violations, and actions? Here is the proper response for each student. Ben receives a level five, which is an out of school suspension and or abeyance for 11 to 180 days. Upon his return to school, a restorative conference and or circle is required. Chuck receives a level four, which is a three day suspension with two days waived if he agrees to attend a drug alcohol abuse workshop because it is his first offense. Yeah.